Welcome back to another Timberborn episode update 4. My name is Nilars and we are continuing on our journey to just build bigger and better and evolve our little colony here. I think it's a colony. Yeah, let's say that it's a colony. In all respects, what I find to be like the most efficient way to play um, Timberborn is that you always have two projects uh, ongoing at any given time. One is a project that's a little more technical where you need to spend time and just figuring it out. And then another one is just where it needs like a ton of wood for just keeping things going. And that's kind of how I want to approach this session as well. What we want to do today is our major objective is to fill up and contain this crater. It's called a crater, this one. So we'll fill up just the lower levels here. Uh, we'll fill up to this level, I think, level two. Like one, two, three. Okay, so that's level. We'll keep that contained. And we will then also tap this steel or this metal block. So those are the two projects that we want to undertake today. My plan is we have this available here. We can let the water flow down here. But if we do, it'll flow out. So we need to contain that. Uh, go into here, fill up this little uh, lake. And then make sure that it doesn't flow out that way. Uh, then it will also be fed from this lake out here. And... It will also be f uh, then it'll be filled up by containing what we're already doing here. We're already blocking this one off slowly, but we are. And then it will flow this way instead. So we'll have a little bit of a lake or a, a river down here. We are going to use slash app use the uh, new function that allows us to have unlimited range on uh, on districts and then send them off on very long journeys. But hey, I don't care. That's fine. That's uh, it's a feature, so we'll uh, embrace it, right? Uh, the first thing we want to do is we want to figure out where it is we want to uh, to block things off. And we can uh, we can take a look at this. Uh, uh, first of all, this one is just slowly getting there. Is it uh, prioritized? Is it lower priority? Mm, it's lower priority. Let's just bump it up in normal priority. We are also going to get a uh, this a floodgate level one. We might get a floodgate more than that, but we want to get a floodgate here. Well, okay, maybe not that one. There. And they can be built from down here. So that will be also an interesting thing as well. Let's start working our way towards this location. So that's the direct path up here. And then we need to take the scavenger, metal scavenger flag. And we'll build two of these here. One, two. So you can see out here the distance away from... Uh, okay, well, they can't really see the distance away from it. But... Uh, once it's built, it's out here on the red. It's very far out, but it's still possible. And then we need a storage. That's going to be an industrial storage. I'm just going to build that here because then the distance from this back to this location here, this will be only dedicated to the scrap metal. And then I'm thinking this might be a good location to build our, um, our smelter there. Because it's kind of out here and eventually we can get to, but that's a little bit ambitious for now. Uh, then we want to also contain... Oh, let's... Oh, wow. Well, that's uh, that means we need to get a, a big project going uh, for, for this part. If we lead this over, yeah, here. And I guess we need to delete this one. Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem because we don't really need... A lot of the, the granola, uh, canola oil it doesn't seem to be something we need a lot of. I'm going to be speeding this up because it kind of blocks other things from us. Now, if this is... Hmm. I would really like to have it in a different way. But uh, I guess we can't. Uh, so, I would like to have had like one space between it. But now this is the path. So, that's the one we are going to do. I will do... Oh, there's two here. So you're going to build that. And from here, down there, and in. Okay. Now we can do here, and then there. And then I'm always, because this is in, on a on a road, then I'm going to build this as well. Uh, build it as a four-way, because you never know which way you want it. And then we drag this part over. Great. That is uh, something. That's definitely something. Let me see if we have a road here. I do have a road down there, right? Let's just get the road over. Okay, so that will allow us to build this part. And this part will also be built. I will definitely make sure that I scale up 
or prioritize this part because it's behind. So I need to make absolutely sure that I can build it. So that is basically what we need to do in terms of in terms of the metal part, at least the construction. But you know, these are just not, they're not really spinning very well. They're actually spinning really poorly, I think. That's kind of weird, isn't it? Yeah. Um, also, I think that it's because there is, I'd actually like to change that one. Hmm. I'm kind of in, in doubt about this location. Okay, the, the long and short of it is, I want this. This is the big one. Yeah. Look at that beautiful thing. And it needs to be here and here. Because this is four wide, so we can take two. It shouldn't be a problem at all, because it'll hook up right there and right there. But we need to take this out. If I take it out, I lose access to this part. Which means I need to make sure that when I build this, it's going to be the first and highest priority. I think it's better to do it now. So let's do that. Oh, this is going to hurt me so badly. Um, maybe we can take one out first. Yeah, let's take one out first. Let's take this one out and then figure out what we want to do. Uh, these ones have to be like high priority pickup. Otherwise, they never get picked up if I don't pick them up immediately. Because if they bump this way, then, well, I won't get them. Then I need to build here. And I think on top of that, that's where we can get our big one why why is that is it maybe just the road here I'm hoping it's just the road there I'm hoping that's it because I think it it has to be two up fingers crossed otherwise I'm oh good brilliant perfect and this one got shunted behind here that sucks that's 19 great products that we don't have anymore oh well um we can still hope that it's... Uh, what happened? Oh, there we go. <laughs> Alright, so this has to absolutely be highest priority. I'm, I'm going to make you highest priority. And then I'm going to make this highest priority. After after the other stuff that's high priority, then this will be the highest priority. There we go. We're already now just lacking on power. Because these are just not enough. But when we shut these two in, they should be working better. And all of this is going to be built. And as we build over here, that also looks good. We're getting there slowly. All right, we are almost completed. There we go. That's now completed. But uh, the issue is still that they are two different networks. This one only feeds here, which is not sufficient. This one is making 160. Mm, that's not much, but we can definitely get better. So now we actually need to cut off the other part, which means we're going to kill our, that one until we are done. Uh, in the meantime, let's just have a look up here. They are starting to collect, but that means I need my actual industrial uh, storage to be prioritized as well then i am going to go over here because i want this to be done actually that's what they want to do as well uh, you can see that they're starting to be oh look at that it's flowing through here cool so let's actually make this prioritized so that we can deal with this first it's a small thing but we just want to make sure that that's okay and while that's getting done i will just take this out kill that Kill that, and yes, I know, kill that, and this I actually need to kill as well. I mean, I don't need to, but I want to, uh, because I want to restrain, or constrain, not restrain, constrain the flow here, and then I will get that one here, and then with this combined, we can now build the big wheel on top, and they will now connect, and that's going to be glorious. So that will, like everything else, uh, this is still here for some reason. Uh, be a little bit higher priority. And it's really important that you get the lower one also higher priority. Otherwise, it doesn't work. There we go. Everything now is a light green priority. Great. So that's the high priority here. And we think these, since they are stamped down first, they will come in first. Now, what happens though? I can always block it off here so that no water flows in. Because the water that flows in here is nicely filling up, making everything green. But it then flows out here. That's something we need to deal with. But let's do one thing at a time. So now we can see this is exactly how I want it to work. These are set to half. And uh, when it's set to half, then there will be some of the water will spill over. And that means this will be retaining the greenness. That is excellent while still allowing some water to flow in here. Now I can always constrain the water that flows in here to not go in there. Um, and that's uh, that's what we want to do as sort of next project cut off here uh, cut off here 
but that's uh, we have enough projects as it is. One thing that I'm noticing is that we can't really retain the water very well. So I think I'm going to be uh, adding another water location down here. I know it's kind of far away, um, but I think it'll be valuable to have extra water supply down here. It's not that far away from but well, basically anything. So we can just work our way there pretty easily like this. And here and then obviously we are also going to there. And then we need some water. I was about to say bottle, but that's not it. A water reservoir here. Like that. So this has to be built, but it doesn't have to be built. Like it's not the first among many things. The first thing is definitely getting... Uh, where are you? This thing done. Yes. Okay, we got one tile done. And that means we should be working on the next tile here. Yep, yeah, it's coming in now. And the second water wheel is now online. That means now we have one connected line here. This is a total of... Uh, let's see, this one provides 240 and this one is 190. Okay, so that is a massive boon. And uh, as you can see here, we have a drought forecast. And we're not really... I'm not super happy about the... Uh, the water situation here. So what I'm going to do is I have uh, decided to focus this uh, this part down here on uh, on getting just this one. So now we will be at least focusing on having one more pump available. It'll it won't be continuing too long because as soon as the drought end uh, starts, then I'll cut this off because I want to retain the water in this reservoir. And of course I could then yeah I c could use this as a because it's pretty deep um yeah but i'm not going to i'm i'm gonna get this one and there we go and let's uh, have a look we have our storage that's great it's storing something and this is lower priority there's really no reason to spend time on building this unless we have this long line done which is like a massive amount of uh, well not very much wood but a lot of planks actually and uh, let's see but planks will well we do have a lot of planks don't we 200 planks that's great a full storage of that so now the drought is here, and uh, that means as the drought comes in, as soon as it hits, I am going to close the gates, open the gates, close the gates, close the gates a little. There we go. I'm going to close these gates, because now it stops flowing. Uh, this will also stop flowing eventually, and will dry up here. We still have a little bit in here, and it'll just gradually dive out. But as soon as this one, it will be working as long as it can until it, yeah, it, it fails. Um, this was, I think this was actually a bit of a, a rescue here. I will be stopping all the water consumption. So here, this, here's the thing. This is a four day long. Each of uh, my 64 of these consume 2.4 per day. So it's four days. That's about 10 each times uh, how many there are. And there are 62. So I'm going to be needing 600 and something in order for... Uh, for them to be happy during all the way through the drought. See, that's obviously more than I have, but that's uh, I think it'll be fine because this will not dry out in four days and then we can start the pump on the last day just to keep them uh, bridged over and then we should have enough water for that. This one can also keep pumping, so it's nice. It'll get like three per hour as long as it's active. It's at working at 95%. Good. So what do we uh, take stock of the situation? This is progressing slowly, but it is progressing. I can now switch this one back on to, to, uh, to just being built. Uh, what we need to do now is work on filling this crater and making sure that it doesn't overflow or more likely make sure that we control when it flows out. That will be done by, if we look at here, let's see, these are, okay, the dams are a little bit more expensive. Doesn't matter. Uh, oops. I'll make it symmetrical. There. And since they're not going to be building any of these things yet, we might as well build it like this and the levee there. So that means now they can, it can flow through here when it gets above a certain limit. And, and that will be here. I also want to control things when it flows out. Let me see if I go... Uh, I'd really like to get the big one of these, right? So I can empty it if I need to. Yeah, I'll get this one. Okay, so here's the problem. This one is blocking other products from coming in because these are, you can't walk over them. So I have to walk around them to get them built. That's a little bit annoying, but it it is what it is. And I don't think these are necessary, but they might be. So I need to now build my way over here. I can build it up on this plateau 
Mm, that's actually pretty close to that one. Or I could... I could build it here as well. Uh, I also think I want another barrier here. Let's build a little barrier there. Because I want to retain water in this location so that this keeps being moist, I guess. Uh, so you'll be working over here. Can work all the way down here. And then I'm going to need to get to this location. And I think the easiest is just to make... Like down here and then just accept that they have to be building it like this. And then I just have to figure out how to get... Um, Let's go here. Now we're just pathing this back. That one, that one, that one. I don't know. Doesn't really matter how it goes. And I think that's gonna be a less interesting part here. Good. So that is now a path down here that they will eventually make. It's really far away if we look at uh, these parts here. Uh, if I wanted to make something and try to place it down here, it would also just complain at how far it is away. Too far away. Okay, but that will now constrain it so that there's retain some water in this section, which will help make sure that this stays green and fertile. Then I can go down to this location, block that off. And here I just keep this as it is. And I want to get it up to this level. Yes. Okay, so that controls the outflow from here. That controls the outflow from here. That controls the outflow from here. This controls the inflow. And then the only thing left is over on this side. I need to make sure that I can also control the outflow from this location. I need to figure out sort of what the level this is. This one and no level difference, no level difference, no level difference. Okay, so it'll be covering this tile, but not reaching that tile. That means if we look over on the side, I will be getting... Do I really want to unlock this one? This is really expensive. I guess I do. Yeah. Here's a here's a little problem. And when I do this, we have the same problem as last last time that I won't be able to actually reach it. Here. That one, that one. And here. There. Okay. I think that's a fair way of doing this. It's not going to be efficient or anything, but it will get uh, it will get built. Once this is done, I will also be able to let this go through. But on in all honesty, would I ever do that? Because if we look at it, this level here, I'd have to maintain it at that level. Um, and that would mean here. I'd have to be able to block it off at this location so that it doesn't go any further down than this. Well, I guess I uh, I guess I do that. That means I want to build levees here and I guess this is easier. Good. And then I build Where are you? That one, that one. These will now be, they'll be actually, they will, they'll actually be closed because I don't even want it to flow in here because as soon as it flows in here, it'll start emptying from up here and I don't want that. But we still don't have uh, the whole package here because I need to also block off this one and this will be a hard block off. I, I like these things, right? This is uh, this is real beaver work. This is damn good work. That's what it is. And I will then need to make sure that I can get across. Okay, so now I can get across. I can br build this one. Once that's built, I can... Oh, once this is built and this one is built. Uh, can I even build it? Uh, yes, I can. Because I can just walk out here and the other one can just walk out this way. Yes. Make it, might, might as well make path. And then this can be built. This, this. Okay, great. Whew. That's a lot of things that need to be built. And uh, in the meantime, we also need to have uh, this one... Uh, so we can get the first little bit of iron going as well. And we are here at the end of uh, of the drought. And you can see the last water is being drunk now. With 0.2 left, that is excellent. We will just start firing these up. Of course, it's nighttime. There are a few of them that are a little bit dehydrated. 
that is not a problem at all. Um, I think that we, with this one working next time, uh, for, or working for the next drought cycle, then we definitely will have enough water. And uh, well, we we will have enough water because we'll also fill up this part. Uh, but that is uh, that's pretty good. We survived another one. Uh, food is actually kind of the biggest issue because the power has been off for so long. Then we have not been able to get uh, get our food production of the iron teeth unique products going here that's a little bit unfortunate also we had a little, another little problem was that um, our gear factories those were they only contained 10 gears and there was no storage for gears so i built this one in the meantime there we go now we have a gear storage as well and uh, that was the that's the hold up actually and also just double up our uh, our storage for uh, wood and the hold up over here it was actually gears and we don't have enough gears so at this point the only thing we have remaining of building is uh is uh, scheduled for build is the new stuff. I will be happily making you go down here to 1.5. And as the water comes in, is it coming in? Oh, yeah, it's slowly coming in, but no power yet. But here it comes flowing in, and then we'll start uh, churning on the power as well. There we go. The first little bit of power comes in. Great. And as the flows down here, we will now also get this one opened as well. This was the first thing I built, so this is going to be the first thing again that gets uh, built in here. We should see that it flows through here because it flows through here. This is 0 0.5, while this is 0 0.67. Uh, the dams let anything flow out that's over two thirds full, and this one should be 0 0.5. So I would hope that we would see that it flows through here. And then because this is only three wide, then it can't absorb the whole flow. Okay, that did not work. They apparently work at exactly the same. So this is also at 50. I, okay, I thought this was at two thirds full, but it's at 50% uh, full. Well, now you know. And it flows in here and they will start pumping as soon as they get going here. There we go. And that will get us... We're already at 50. So that's good. We don't have a... Oh, right. Something we didn't do is actually make sure that we can get out here. Um, I think we'll build this one. Because that's going to be a shorter path going down there and this way. This is ungodly far away but it's still doable it is still doable and let's see what they are working on and uh, next one uh yes though so this was the first thing we built so that's going to be the first one that will be be set up here let's actually take this part out first and make sure that this gets built first And look at this, the infrastructure is complete. So we have now built this along last, we built this one down here and we built this part, which is set to maximum. So it won't flow in, we might control it. And there we also have almost the last, there we go. That was the last of it we needed. Technically we need, don't need this. Well, not technically, but we just don't need it. So I can now do, uh, yeah, do we kill all of them at once? Yeah, sure, whatever, you know. There we go. So now it flows in here. And we will then be... Without this, we won't be able to go across. And it flows in. Flows in. It will be splashing a little bit over here when it sort of slushes in. It fills up. It'll probably spill a little bit over. But it'll still be exactly as we want it here. So filling it up. Great. And we now also have the walking path across this done. Great. So this is now done. All right. So we have now built an external path over here of course it's going to drain water from this line and uh, the next thing we want to do is work our way down here to this block so it doesn't leak out that way or at least we can control the leakage we also need to build these blocks over here uh, they are already started but slowly and uh, that means if we now use this one and just let it flow out here then we can use it to fill up this reservoir and it'll actually sort of backflow into the lake weirdly enough but uh, that'll uh, that will will work it will work and we're just leaching a lot of water i'm assuming that this will get us less water from here or less power no it, it, somehow it gets more power that's weird uh all right so this okay so now it, that was like the big slush coming out and now it's a a consistent trickle coming in here which will gradually fill up this lake. 
just slowly coming in slowly there's not much not much water coming in on this map um we are in the meantime building this and uh we have uh oh right this one is, is stopped flowing because it's just so little coming in that these will flow a little bit then this one will flow a little bit and then it'll just be balancing so that there's a tiny tiny bit of flow everywhere tiny flow onwards tiny flow here tiny flow in here at some point now we'll start going it it'll flow back in the side which will also um happen like the next thing that's going to happen well it, this this thing here uh, let's uh, make sure that this gets buffed up because they are far away and of course we got the warning here hmm is that is that concerning um i don't know i think we can look at this it's spilling in so this is now sort of the backflow uh it shouldn't be this way and i will now also block it because that's not how it's supposed to go it at least means that we have filled it up to a certain degree we have overflowing here which will gradually make this better but it also just means that it flows out faster this way which is definitely not what i want uh, they are just desperately coming down here and yeah oh, that we dehydrated man. they're not oh thirst that's pretty nasty minus 10 get back and get their your thirst fixed then there's a thirsting here we have 1000 store oh yeah we had plenty so ah oh, man um i don't know if this is smart move to do this it probably isn't Oof, you're gone uh, but what i want to do is that one can i ask you to pick these up fast yes then i want to get a new thing it's a lido there lido oh come on oh right 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 right. that doesn't work because there's a path down here yes take that out and take that out and then we'll try the lido again we'll build these sort of random places that we feel they could be done there lido is getting two things that'll be over here There'll be just the general Lido thing here. That'll be make them happy. And it'll also add up to the wet fur that's only about half. Uh, so we look for other locations where we could build it. I think we could build one here. That would require us to build that one. And then we'll have the Lido, Lido, Lido. There we go. And get that in. They are not as important. And that also looks like a Lido-licious place. So we'll build it here. It's a little bit sort of out of the normal sort of path, but hey, it's a nice, you go a little bit away from the city, go a nice retreat on the concert side. That's going to be nice. Okay, but these will not be prioritized uh, because they're not really that important. Uh, the good news is, oh, look at that. It's actually flowing in now. Great. Yeah, and this is the highest priority, I guess. Yeah, this is the high priority. Let's uh, get this uh, prioritized. There we go. Because if I can get this locked in, then I don't actually need this. Because if I don't have this, then it just flows over here and fills up. And it would be really, really nice if I could fill this up or I could prevent this outflow before the next uh, before the next drought. That's two days. So let's see if we can do that. Here we are. It actually looks like it works. I don't think it can. Yeah, it can't get through this uh, this little in the diagonal intersection. We'll still build this because it's, I mean, that's the decent thing to do. And uh, what we want to do is set it up to 1.5. That means it'll go up and fill up. So now we use the last day and one and a quarter day to fill up this reservoir as much as possible. Um, that will flow in here. I will actually go like this because I want to have more flow in here. I don't care about this flow. I can choke that flow. We just need to fill up this reservoir as much as possible in the last 1.2 days remaining before this. And we see now a nice flood coming here. This is basically at this point redirecting all of the water we get in. Nothing goes through here. I could let something go through here, but everything goes through this side. And because it goes through this side, it is just filling up this one a lot faster. We can see it gets closer and as it fills up to 1.5 if we can get it then it'll be nice oh look at that floodplains lovely this will be a, a mangrove forest for sure uh, oh it disappeared uh it also probably evaporates pretty quickly come on fill it up fill it up there's, there's no way that it's this is the only place it can flow out this place it can't flow out so let me give, give me those floodplains come on you can do it it is so close now yes 
Brilliant. This is what we want. And that will cover a much bigger area. This is the lake we wanted. And we have built this. Now the only thing that we actually have on our build schedule is this part here. Which is honestly not really necessary. But it'll just kind of const make sure that if, if it dries out, it dries out on this path before it dries out or it dries out anywhere else. So now we are up here. We actually have the lake is getting bigger. And the, we are now flowing slowly, slowly, slowly in here because we don't have the, the dams yet. And that will just slowly flow in here and also fill this up. This one will not fill up to the part where it will flow over because it will only flow up sort of covering this tile but never reaching that tile. So whether we want to use it for something like deep, uh, some uh, deep, I don't know, not mining, uh, pumping, I don't know, but that's definitely an option. These will also, once they close out, then I think... Uh, then the water will continue to rise in here. And eventually we'll have a balance between this one will set up to one point two half, but not yet because it's all about filling up this giant reservoir, this giant lake. That's uh, definitely where we are. Look at this. This is now getting up to the 1.5. As soon as it flows through that 1.5, then it's going to be good. Oh, no. I think I actually made a mistake here. Uh, because it'll flow through the dam and flow through out of the system at the same rate. Uh, maybe that's fine. Maybe that's fine. I'll, I'll try it. Right now it just flows through here. We don't even need these, but whatever. Uh, this is now also building up great. We can top it up from the side, but I don't want to. And I think we can say that this is a hugely successful uh, setup here. Uh, we're still still in the process of filling it up. But as soon as we start seeing it flow out here, which we will soon enough, soon enough, this one is getting to 50% of this tile. And when that happens, then we can send it. It will be flowing out. Uh, we never harvested the resources, but who cares? Uh, this one is done and this one is getting done. So you're going to be built. And as soon as that bit built, then we can start delivering for the last one. And... We want to see this one, and now we have the drought coming. So it's actually pretty good. We don't even want this one out. So I'm just going to get this here. Uh, is that correct? Yeah, like that. And drought started. Perfect. And at the drought starts, I will be pausing and pausing. So now the only way we get water is from this reservoir and from the... Or from, yeah, from the big lake. That's certainly not going to run out because it's also just dipping into the deeper parts. And on top of that, we also have a 1,000 here. We have about 1,000 food. They consume 2.5 food per day. So at a rate of uh, 65 and 4 day. No, it's now a 5 day drought. Uh, that's, I don't know, 12 per, I don't know. It's about 700 food, so it's not going to be a problem. And we're also still producing food, even though we're not producing the fermented food. Cool. That means we've now sort of contained the whole map. We have uh, built our metal, metal works. How much metal do we have? We have, we can also hit tab and just hold down tab. You can see how much is in these as well. That's a very neat little trick. Don't know when that was added, but it's very nice. So this is full. This one only has 50. I mean, 50 iron is not much, but it'll, it's enough to get us going and get the first of the uh, of the next tech level. This forest is starting to come in, so we can now start a bigger project because we now have tons of forest available for uh, big projects coming forward. We have, I'm not going to say infinite water, but we have infinite water down here. So that is also very nice. And we can now control, uh, control the water. We have a large area here that we can now start using because it's fertile land. What will be the plan for next time is building a location here. That will be a new district with focused on farming. And I also want to do something about the, this part here. So the water flows in. It'll go through some more turbines. That should be sort of the next big objectives here. So I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this terraforming and yeah, just getting control of the map. Basically, first we got a little control of our city or colony. And now we get control of the map by just making sure we have a really big... A reservoir of water for future. Thank you very much for, for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and be sure to check out my Twitch where I'm also streaming this and a little bit ahead of where we are on YouTube, of course. And uh, also check back here on YouTube for more Timberborn. Thank you for watching. Until next time, take care and stay effective.